I, I just I completely disagree on your placement of Jim Knowles. I, I, I really believe that the the place that Ohio State was at before he came in was was concerning. It, it, they they were lacking a defensive identity. And if we remember, I think like the I what sticks in my head is the performance that they had against Oregon. And it was at that 2021 yeah, season. That, remember, Joe Moorhead was the OC that year when they went into Oregon. They got knocked around. And then that was when they made the transition to Knowles and they hired him away from Oklahoma State. Right. The identity shift in the way that the defense is now the most important part of the roster and they're trying to play catch up on offense. The fact that, that it was such an aggressive shift with an offensive minded coach, I think one shows me that he is capable of capturing and, and and building an identity. And then I look specifically at the premier talent that they've got on their defensive line and in their secondary. Their defensive line development has been rapid. And there are tons of guys. They're so good, their defensive line, that Michael Hall Jr. was a rotational guy last year. He, he, you know, he didn't play every snap, and he is going to be a top 100 pick in the 2024 NFL draft. Tyleek Williams, JT Tuomoylao, that whole group is going to be really good, and it's because of his his coaching on the field during games and the way that he helps develop this roster. They have been just tremendously getting better every single year. What you're really – the argument you're really trying to make here is why do I have Pete Golding ahead of Jim Knowles, correct? Yeah, I, mean, I, I don't I okay. don't hate Pete Golding. I, I think he's a good defensive coordinator, but that kind of ties in. Okay, so let me let me start with this. Pete Golding's never had a defense outside the top 15, ever, besides last year, ever, as a D.C. Okay? Okay. So then he goes to Ole Miss. Joe, they climb up 67 spots in total defense. 67. 67 in the SEC. So all of a sudden, you turn around a defense that climbs 67 spots, okay? You're – for the technical people out there, okay, they were throughout the season in the top 45 for a lot of it, all right? Look what he did in Alabama. And, Joe, look what he's doing in the transfer portal. Do you not think that that defense is – at Ole Miss, at, yeah. at Ole Miss, I do think that Pete Golding, because of where he's been and who he's been with, there's – we overlook him. Alabama fans, what they do, historically what they do – they give a bad distortion on coaches that they don't like. Remember the conversation you and I had about Bill O'Brien. Well, the conversation we had was, what are we talking about? He scored, they averaged 40 plus points a game, okay? They were doing things defensively. They missed on some guys that Nick ultimately recruited. Uh, Joe, I, I, I don't think that, here's the difference that, that I have with Knowles, Okay. I've seen Pete Golding lead, lead a defense with immense amount of talent, okay? Build a defense like he did. By the way, Caleb Downs literally came out during recruiting and said, Pete Golding was the dude recruiting me before he left, okay? It was Nick who ultimately got him there. My, my point is, we've seen him be the DC and have great play calling during national championship runs. Every time that we have seen Jim, okay, his team has fallen short. And I think that that's fair enough to say that they've fallen short. That's not all on him. Offensively last year, they had issues and kept them in games. But at what point do I look at a guy like Pete Golden who has three or two or three national titles and now is at Ole Miss, climbed them up the ranks that they did, and what he's doing in the transfer portal. Joe, all we could talk about during the offseason – when it came to the portal, was what Pete Golding was doing at Ole Miss. Joe, there's a potential they're going to be a top 15 defense this year. So if he brings Ole Miss of all places into that status, then what? Look, here's the here is the only thing. I and he was on my list. And for just to remind everybody, he was number four, and he is number three on yours. So there's you know there's really not much separation here. Between you and I, but the conversation yes. that we're having is between yeah. Jim Knowles and Pete Golding, correct? 
I'm not going to be one of those people because I think there's a lot of folks that cover college football that clown on Pete Golding and think that he's not as good as he actually is. His results that he's already had, and you talked about that jump in, in production defensively, it's it's massive. They, they have taken a huge step forward, and they're going to take another step forward. But I have trouble placing him ahead of Jim Knowles when last year, there were three just black eye games that I can't get over where they gave up 49 points to Jaden Daniels. And I know that's the Heisman, Heisman trophy winning quarterback and LSU had all those guys. They gave up 35 points to Texas A&M and they gave up 52 to Georgia. I understand that those are two of those games are extremely potent offenses. And there's a lot more of a story that can be told with how those games played out. But you can't just shit your pants and disappear. In Those the big games, games are created equally, and you know it, because Lane goes for it on fourth down at his own 25, and he turns the ball over, and he's got 25 yards to work. We know that that happened against Georgia three times, Joe. Uh, okay, but that's 52 points. We're not talking about 35. We're talking about 52 points. But it's points. 21 points. And you're talking about Georgia. But, Joe, you're, what you're going to have to do is justify to me how they climbed up 67 point, or sixty-seven spots. I, I'm not, I, I just said that that aspect of his progression is impressive. But I'm just reiterating the fact that his slate last for, – for me to be right. in the top three, you need to have like a really good season, like a, an, un, an almost I think climbing season. up 67 spots is more than amazing. Joe, I think you, it's amazing, but he's still – these the, the results in some of these games, I remember these games. The way that they played defensively I'm, against LSU you, was Jim pretty popular. Uh, uh, hold on. Jim Knowles' first year at Ohio State, what happened against Michigan in the second half? So you're picking one game? The best team that he played, Joe. And you know that the Big Ten and teams like Mich Michigan and Ohio what State – don't Max Johnson scoring 35 points on on where was Max Johnson even the, the quarterback for Texas A&M I, I don't remember I think he got hurt they they got their asses whooped defensively by Texas A&M like th that to me is the uh, uh, Max Johnson did play in that game you, you've literally seen Max Johnson beat teams and keep Bama like almost beat Bama two years ago what do you Max it's Max Johnson and it was, a, it was a it was it was a it was a dog shit Texas A&M team last year that was directionless. Joe, you can't look at a place like Ole Miss and him climb up the way that he has and say that that, oh, well, I'm going to pick out the three worst games and not pick the other eight. Um, again, I am not. It, wasn't, it was not his fault against Alabama, right? Like, it was not his fault. They still won those. No, they played, a, they played a good defense Texas game. Texas A&M. Joe, when Jimbo was on his final straw, his final string, it was Pete Golding that handed him the dagger. Go back and watch that game in the fourth quarter. I, I mean, there's got to be something to be said, Joe, when you're constantly in the hundreds with a head coach and you come in and climb up as much as he did. Joe, they were in the 120s under Lane at times. 120s. And then he had to go and completely change the personnel by going in the portal. Why do you think Walter Nolan and all those dudes – want to go play for him yes money is one you think that they're the only school offering him money no i mean he's a great he has been a known fantastic to be. recruiter he's going to he is going to legitimately put on the field arguably the best defense that Ole Miss has ever seen ever and he's been there by the way just throwing this out there he's been there for 14 months when he got there he couldn't go into the portal and do everything he needed to do to get the personnel there Ohio State is a different place where Jim Knowles already had talent and can go get talent instantly. I mean, Joe, look what he did with, with Caleb Downs. I, I mean, like, it, Ohio State is a completely different brand and situation than Ole Miss. If he gets in the top 25 of total defense at Ole Miss, it, it's different for them being in the top 10 at Ohio State because of the personnel that you can get there. I don't want to retread, retread on an argument, but I'm just going to take one shot and then quickly move on. But you, you're not like you're you're like trying to take away from Phil Parker for for being productive. At, he at doesn't I, have the personnel, okay, and it's okay. going to wind up biting him in the ass. Um, I find it concerning though 
and I, 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 I am becoming a bit of a, an EPA fiend that they were 52nd last year in EPA defensive EPA. And that's, that is an indicator of defensive success against more explosive offense. Where were they the year before? I get you. I bet you they were in the one tens. I, I can't pull up the year before on this website that I'm using. Um, can, I, can I give you, can I, can I tell you something? What? EPA per play can take a massive dump. No, the, okay. That is one of the few, that stat to me is far more important than just defense, like total defense. Bet online remains your top spot for all of your live betting action and contests. NFL, college football, UFC, NHL are all in full swing. Bet online is your number one source for wagering news, odds, trends, and predictions with both desktop and mobile access at any time. Head to Bet Online today and use promo code Believe. That's B L E A V for fifty percent off your first deposit that is a 50 percent welcome bonus bet online where the game starts